a giant rhino the size of three African elephants that grazed on treetops in Tibet. This long-legged creature succumbed to climate change more than 20 million years ago. Many of the areas become open country. The grassland actually takes, takes over. So what that means is these animals actually have to travel wider distances in search of food. Extreme mammals include an ancient whale that walked on land but took to ocean life, and more recent pygmy mammoths on California's Channel Islands, a comparison seen in these jawbones of a Colombian mammoth and its smaller cousin. Extreme adaptations helped the animals survive for a time. The exhibit from the American Museum of Natural History in New York is supplemented by more recent Ice Age remains from the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles. We've got the, the American lion, which along with the cave lion in Europe was the biggest cat that ever lived. We've got something called a scimitar cat, which was another type of saber tooth. We've got an extinct uh, subspecies of jaguar. And then we have the uh, mountain lion, which is the only one of those five big cats that's still alive today. Changing climate over the ages and the more recent incursion of humans have presented challenges. But one surviving species, the mountain lion, thrives in California. One member famously lives in a wilderness park above Los Angeles. People thought he'd just spend a couple of days there and continue to move on or attempt to move on. And he's the first mountain lion to ever make that journey successfully. Other mountain lions have tried, but have been killed on the, on the freeways. The mountain lion is a survivor, unlike the more extreme mammals that once thrived but could not adapt to changing conditions. Mike O'Sullivan, VOI News, Los Angeles.